Good kitten internet. Um, so one thing I wanted to give a little bit of a heads up about. For some reason, Windows decided that my audio was just too stable for too long. So <laughs> my gain on my microphone used to be set to about 20 to 25 percent. It is now set at 100 percent and I'm still not clipping. Um, all audio got messed up. I don't know how this happened while Windows was on. My best guess is a driver update of some variety. I've rebooted my computer. I've done everything I can. I've even switched audio devices, so I know it's not my microphone. Like, I used my crappy little headset, and it, too, was at 50% volume. I mean, to give you an idea, I used this earlier today without this issue. And I only noticed it during my pre-checks because I was so quiet that my... um. I have what's called a noise gate set up, so you don't hear a bunch of quiet or background noise, not just from um, noise suppression or anything, but just like lower volume noise, like mouse clicks and buttons on my gamepad and stuff like that. And I was not recording any audio whatsoever. I noticed this before I started recording, so I didn't lose any time or anything, but I just wanted to give you all a heads up that... Mm. The audio on this video may be a bit messed up as a result. Apologies, I can't really do much about it. I really don't understand why Windows did what it did. I'm going to drop the gain slightly. A little concerning to me that my peak was actually in the red range. It, my peak should actually be in yellow. That's ideal in my mind. Mm. This also means I probably need to adjust the audio for Vandal Hearts. Because, yeah, fun. Oh. So, where we last left off is in the middle of a battle, because didn't really have a choice. There was nothing in between. And we are in the battle of our lives. There's a bunch of people up at the top. So we've got deacons and mages and centurions and <clears throat> all of those fun units. More importantly, though, we have grenadiers, and they're going to suck to deal with. You know why they're going to suck to deal with? Because they have height, and we don't. We have four units on the ground with no visible way of getting out. So there's something over here, obviously, because these walls are shorter than the rest. And looks like there's stairs up to get back here. There's an item here that we are, in fact, going to need to get. Um, I think it's just one item on this battlefield. Let's double check really fast. Um, I don't have a guide open because I just restarted my computer for some strange reason. No, that could be a second item. How would I even get at that? I don't even know if it's pa- Okay, that's not an item, because it's impossible to get at. That is the second item, though. Okay, so I am going to need to collect these items, because there is another key in this battle. And this is the last battle of the chapter. So, this is not a great situation to be in. So, what we need to do is to make sure we don't get hit by these goobers. Because... Ow. Let's try spell binding. Okay. Took care of that one for now. Nice level up, you and I. Um, I had a kitty over to my left, but she has moved somewhere else. So not actually for aware right now. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't get at the back of either of those units. So we're not going to be fighting all that much this turn. Go ahead and shoot the Centurion. Luckily, these units are lower level than us, but yeah, 
this is going to be a rough... Oh, and um, because I didn't point it out, this is the second battle of the game where the condition is death of Clint. So we need to make sure Clint survives. So other than Elan and I, I'm going to try to back myself up into this corner. We only have four units, so... Yeah, I knew Clint can get hit, but he can take a hit like that. That's not that big of a deal. I'm actually more concerned about Darius. Ah, crap. I thought I was out of range of that. Apparently not. So it should only be one Centurion that can reach me this turn. Nope. I might need to reload already. Yup. Are you dead? Ooh, you lived. Sweet. Okay, I don't have to reload. No, I also have no healers. I am just going to have healing items and nothing else. We haven't even looked at Duma yet. It's not looking good for our party. <laughs> Play them all. Lord Duma! The rebels! Me cap. Yeah, if you thought that was our only force, well, it was pretty obvious that somebody else had to arrive. We, the Ashtarian Liberation Army, have taken over this prison. Lay down your arms, or die. I can't believe- oh, sorry. I can't believe it. It's Ash! Hold on, Clint, we're coming. Impudent whelp! Beg to die. So, our condition has not changed. This is the only battle in the entire game that Ash is present. And the death of Ash does not trigger loss. So traditionally, when I'm doing the slightly cheaty way of handling this game, where um, where I'm over leveling everybody and keeping Ash at an under level, this is the battle that I actually let Ash level up a little bit and have some fun, because it doesn't matter if he dies. It just costs me money. Okay, so. Now, I need to try to keep everybody alive, which is always going to be difficult. I do have a couple of people I can bust through there with. Kick it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get anybody. Okay. All right. We need some magical friends. Like a phase shift. Uh, I'm only hitting two of them, unfortunately. Uh, I couldn't get any closer. No. Okay. Uh, in that case, Roman Fire might actually be better. Yeah, I can hit the same two with Roman Fire, so I'm just going to Roman Fire instead. Plus magic. I'm hitting the same ones. Oh, I should have looked to see if I was hitting any of the rest. And I didn't save at the start of this round. Ooh, they don't immediately die. Interesting. Okay. That might not have been the greatest of ideas for me then. Problem is that she's not going to be able to reach. Yeah, best she can reach is there for a healing spell, and it's regular healing on top of it. 
Not great. So I still have to worry about Eamon getting bonked by that person, but I think this will be fine. As long as I only get bonked by one, I should probably be fine. Although it just dawned on me I should have gone after the other one of those. Because Clint can't reach. You know what? We're going to reload. Let's try this again. I'm going to be mostly doing the same types of things. Okay. What I want to know... Is it even possible for me to hit the deacon? Because if I can hit the deacon, that would be great. Because screw the deacon. Healers need to suffer. Let's go back to spellbinding. Fast forwarding. So. How's it doing, internet? I was originally going to start this video completely differently, but the whole audio issues kind of made me go, oh, okay, yeah, I need to start a certain way. Oh, this is just bad in general. Okay, we're going to go like that. I mean, no matter what, I'm going to get bumped by the Grenadier. Eh, at least the AI is splitting things up. Not helpful, but, you know. Really? I think you could reach. Okay. But you die. We're getting a massive amount of XP from this. Alright, we've already seen what these goobers are saying, so I'm not going to repeat it. Save my voice a little bit. I do like the fact that they're just killing him off. Also, it changes the music. I like that, too. And there's a lot of things I like about this game, after all. Okay. Yeah, none of them are going to be able to reach, so I might as well have Ux just push the boulder. Although, this time I only hit one of them instead of two. That part kind of sucks. And then I am going to Mystic Shield. So hard. Ooh, I wonder if I can't hit any of them with Zohar this time. I don't think I'm in range for any of them in a phase shift now, am I? I can hit one. That would be a terrible phase shift. Can I do any better with Roman Fire? No. I mean, hitting one with Roman Fire is better than nothing, I guess. Because he's unpromoted is the problem. Okay. Clint, you're going to move behind. And season stabbings. Darius, you're going to move toward over here because this is actually a safer spot. And then get high on your stash. Actually, I might have been able to hit them with Sarah now that I think about it. Nope. 
Okay. Dolan Duck is going as far as he can. Sarah, slightly off to the side. Ash, we all know that you're going to be the one that gets hit. You're just going to end up staying behind for a bit. Alright. Elanai is going to be the interesting one. So, Elanai can easily one-shot the Juggernaut. I know that. You know, let's make that save that I said I was going to make. I know. Quite a wrong save slot. Retro Dram. There we go. Now I'm going to cast Phase Shift, so avert your eyes as necessary. Uh, my only concern is I think your mom might be able to hit me also, and that would be obnoxious. I don't remember if he actually has any ranged attacks to speak of. I guess we're going to find out. I am at the very least going to make that priest very busy. Yeah, you better level up more than once from that. Holy crap. That was w almost a level and a half by themselves. Okay, so Duma, you are shield variety. You have crap ton of power, or crap ton of defense, and self-healing. Okay. So she's only going to be at risk from that centurion and... Uh, actually... Depending on movement order, she might be at risk from that Grenadier. Actually, no. She's at risk from that Grenadier. I'm not too concerned about the mage, but... Yeah, that might have been a really bad idea. So I am going to move... Wait, why did you turn? I do not understand this game in facing. I don't know if Elena is going to make it through that round. Yep, you're going after Clint because Clint is the AI priority now. But that's the only way to attack Clint. Ooh, you can hit Eamon from there. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. That's actually good news for us. That's less good news for us. Are you seriously able to take out Eamon this turn? No. Okay, good. We're fine. Oh, wait. No, we're not fine. Okay, I was not expecting that. Well, that's why we have a save. Yep, everybody's gonna go. Uh, all the melee units are basically circling around. Oh, that's an idiotic move if I've ever seen one. You're dead. You're very dead. There's a reason why I put Dolan up front. Uh, the Centurion will probably survive. That one. The undamaged one, that is. We're not. You know. Damn, you're doing a lot of damage, Dolan. And you'll heal because that's what you do. Your ridiculous healing. Not that normal healing wouldn't have healed that. So the whole point in me phase shifting is to cause the healers to basically start having to do things. Okay, we're reloading, by the way. Because I am still committed to trying to do this without any deaths. In battle save. Need something to drink. One moment. Pause. That's actually how I was going to start the video before um, Candace had mentioned Pumpernickel on the previous comment, so I bought some. Although technically this is a Pumpernickel rye, but made from local bakery. Mm, Pumpernickel rye. 
my favorite type of bread, and I haven't had bread in about a year. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, right, murdering. Okay. How do I do this where I don't get murdered? I think if I go from here instead, I won't hit as many tar- ooh. I'd rather move slightly more than that. I think this works. It's not the greatest, but- oh. It's still not in range? Really? Hmm. Let's go ahead and phase shift from here, so I am spinning the map once more. Phase shift. I normally prefer pump pumpernickel rye with, like, butter spread on it, but unfortunately, I am... The only butter that I have is very cold. I got more XP. Um, it's very cold, and it's not the spreadable variety, so I would just rip the bread. I'm just going without. Okay. Amen. What if we put you here instead? See, I was putting Amen out here for a lore. And to be fair, you can hit Amen regardless of where I'm at. reload entirely. Because I don't know if Elon and I can take all of this. I think Eamon can take a hit from the sword at that point, but I'm not sure. But I think the sword's going to go after Elon and I instead. Both at the same hit points. Yep, going after Eel and I. But Eel and I live. Bonk. Oh. Man, no, Eel and I has leveled up twice in. or er, three times in two turns. This is ridiculous. I've never seen so much growth for somebody who. I mean, I might be technically lower level than normal, but not by any significant margin. I mean, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, but wow. I think this might be the longest enemy turn that we have had to date. All right. In theory, all I have to do is have Eamon not do that crap. Eamon doesn't have any healing. Does Eel and I have any healing? No. I might be in a bit of trouble. I think Ozzy is in fact in a pickle. Okay.
Is this close enough for Ash to do anything? No. Although, you'll notice that Ash has a new spell. Fairy Star. He can now heal people beyond himself. However, it's not that long range, so it doesn't hit the ground. Okay. So Ash can't do anything. Sarah can't do anything. Um... Let Zohar go as far ahead as we can. Zohar can at least roam and fire. So dumb. Let's save before we do anything. It's a miracle that we've lasted this turn. And unfortunately, there's nobody, nothing for poor Diego to do. Circle. Get our frontline healers up. And so our rear healer is going to heal the people on the ground. This is the problem with moving Eli and I where I did. It's that it's not a great position. Where is safe for me to go? Honestly? Uh, where can you reach? I don't know if Hila and I can survive this turn. Because the safest spot is actually for me to go over here. Oh. Where can I do a paralyze from? I can do it from one more square away, so I can do it from here. That doesn't help me at all. Yep, Elonized it, just dead. Because, yeah. So, Paralyze has the same range as... Let's load from the start of turn. This is why we saved. This is a tricky battle, by the way. I mean, it's a final battle for the chapter. Those are usually tricky battles. I have two things that can kill me. Or I have three things that can kill Eel and I. The Grenadier, the Empire Mage, and the other Empire Mage. I need to stay away from all of them, or at the very least, stop them. Also, there is no way this Grenadier is not waking up. Eamon, I can move down to here and get in range, hopefully, for Hux. Okay, let's see. How far can Hux keep it? Okay, yeah. I can get him... I can get him and healed up. That's not a problem. Eel and I is the problem. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have moved Eel and I way over there when I did. So, here would actually be the safest spot, I think. I'm still gonna get hit by that Grenadier, aren't I? I wish I could see the Grenadier's range. What is Diego's range? Okay. Oh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two to seven. Assuming that you can reach, which yeah, you definitely can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is the only safe spot on the entire row. 
Okay. Diego, do me a favor. What happens if you're standing here? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That doesn't work. There is no safe place for Eli and I to go. She can't kill any of them. And I have no healing. Can Clint reach with healing? Does Clint have healing on him? He does. It's not great healing, but he does have some. Darius used his herb. I think that's my best play. Get Eel and I there. I can hit useless targets with Fate Shift, can't I? Yeah, because I'm hitting mages. Yeah, I'm hitting mages no matter what I do. And that's not useful. You know what? Do that. You have no healing items either. You only have status effect healing. Okay. If you here, have pucks go. Healing plus, get them healed. This is a really iffy move, by the way. I don't think this is going to be enough because Eli and I is going to be taking a grenade to the face, and there's nothing I can do to stop that. But the best I can do is this. So now Clint is over there, and Clint will be a bigger target. The AI is going to prioritize Clint. I don't know if Eli and I can survive at 55. She might be able to. She does have a level advantage over Grenadier. Okay. Next up. Let's go back and move people along here. Get your healing circle. Fast forward a little bit. And get some more Wata to drink. This is a complicated battle. Isn't it's entirely possible I might need to restart it again still. Sarah levels up. Oh boy, is our party gonna be horribly unbalanced after this battle. I'm honestly, I think Ash is actually gonna be the one to go grab the loot down here. Right, Zohar can only roam in fire. I am actually going to do it, though. Not phase shift. Because while, yes, it costs 6 MP, it makes another target for the healers. I want to wear those healers down. And it's not like it's not doing any damage. It's definitely still useful. Uh, Darius, I don't think you can possibly hit anything above, right? Yeah. You're gonna move over here. Because why not? Actually, wait. Can you hit the Grenadier? No, not even close. I think I need to promote again to get even come close. Okay, Diego, that means you're going to advance as much as you can. Grog, you're taking up the rear. Sorry about that, Grog. At least you're relatively high level. Time to cross our fingers, because that's the best I can do for Eli and I. Otherwise, I'm going to have to reload from the start. Are you kidding me, Eli? Eli and I can get hit by two of them. Crap. I didn't realize Eli and I was in range of bull. Can I even do that any better? 
I'm going to pause for a moment because this these turns are too long and I don't want to feel the rest. So, be right back. All right. Um, so, I'm probably going to have to restart from the beginning, but let me show you as to why. This mage hit Clint. One, two, three, four, five, six range. Six. That means that the range on their attack is actually higher than that of Elanai's abilities. So I had no prayer of saving Elanai. She was in range of four different enemies. Any two of them could have taken her out. So instead, two hit Clint and two hit Elanai. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm starting over from the beginning. All right, we're going to have to keep all four of them together. That's the only option. I don't want to do it that way. I think it's dumb to do it that way, but I don't got a choice. Might as well try it. Oh wait, what am I doing? It's not gonna work anyway. Hold on a moment. I don't know why I thought about it that way. I have a much better plan. Real and I. Because she has phase shift and thus can hit all of those things. So, base shift. It's not going to be as much XP. I mean, she gained... She actually looked it up. She gained three levels. Or, she gained four levels from three turns, I think. I mean, I only hit three targets, but still. That's not going to make her popular. Darius is basically useless this combat for reference. So I'm actually going to shove him there. Okay, so only the Warlock should be able to hit those three. Oh no, I forgot about that Grenadier. Well, poop. And of course, that Grenadier is dumb. Darius is dead on turn one, isn't he? One moment. All right, take four, five. All right, cool. Close to Zeal and I actually have to get to Spellbind. That close. This is not good. Am I just really low level or something? I mean, I know I'm lower level than the rest of the party because they weren't around, but. I don't remember this battle being this hard to keep everybody alive, I mean. And the battle itself is not actually that hard, but. You know what? Let's go on the offensive. Do your thing, Elon. I. Pay shift. Pay shift over. Oh boy, have I hit a lot of targets. And I'm killing two of them. 
If Illini survives one round, she can actually finish off both of those. Yeah, 213 XP. Ugh. So she was 15. Now she's 18. She leveled up three times in one action. So yeah, if she can survive two Grenadier hits, I think she's fine. Because the mages can't reach her this turn. Plus, they're going to prioritize hitting Clint over Eel and I. And the hawk, I'm going to have to make sure is far away from the damn archers. Aemon would not survive. Hell, Darius still might not survive even doing this. Alright, let's try the offensive approach. We have to Clint. Interesting. Not what I would have expected. I mean, that helps me quite a bit, in fact. Because only one person to heal is a lot easier to deal with. I know Darius has a high herb. And Darius will survive because he's only getting hit by this one rainbow stroke. Although, okay, it is less than half of his hit points. Yep, you're attacking Elenai. Elenai is going to kill you. Whoa. This is ridiculous how much damage everybody's doing. I'm not on hard mode, I swear. Okay, that's an even dumber idea. Yes, let's attack the one that I'm strong, er, I'm weak against. Brilliant plan. I think Eel and I could actually take on and take out all three archers this turn. I think she actually has range on all three of them. Uh, two of them. Stupid healer. Let me guess. Both healers are going to heal archers. No, actually. So I can take out two archers this turn then. Let's fast forward. Although we get a different angle of the jailer. I have message. All right. Let's save. Okay, you and I, what can you hit from here? So I'm going to need to zoom out. Because I can't even see everything she can hit with a phase shift. She can kill two archers this turn, I think. Or is it just one? That archer would be dead. That archer would be alive because they still have hit points. Okay. It would just be one archer hit. It's not. Madness book is just a paralyze, yeah. I can move over one, but that doesn't change anything. Yeah, one doesn't change anything. I think my best play is to actually throw down another phase shift. Unfortunately, when I kick down the door here, it's not going to help as much. Whoosh. Bonk. Actually, forgot. I could actually have Zohar kill this one. Oh, no! Zohar can kill that one! Right, because you're now in range because you fool. Zohar can kill one, wound another. Uh, actually, at that point, I think I would rather throw down a Roman fire.
So that's going to die from one no matter what I do. Oh, and I. Can you hit more of them? If I ignore that side entirely, like, say, go down to here. And I hit. Now, the problem is that I'm missing due to height difference. So what if I move there? Yeah, I'm hitting the same number of targets. And they're not going to die. They are only taking, looks like, 53 damage. So they're just going to be badly hurt. That one's going to be badly hurt. Badly hurt. I can take out two Grenadiers this turn. I think that's still worth doing. Yeah. This is the one I'm afraid of right here. This man -tree. Yep, let's phase shift. Hit three grenadiers again. Phase shift. Only 44 XP because I leveled up so damn much last time. I suppose I can kill you from here with the shift. That would be really nice if I could. Nope. How far down are you? 30? Yeah, we can... Where do I need to be to hit you? I need to be one square closer, which means I need to be standing where Hux is standing. I'm gonna not quite stand that far back. Or, I'm gonna stand slightly further back because Hux is already gone. I'm gonna move there and do this. Roman fire will be enough to kill. Okay. Two fewer archers. Unfortunately, I still have to deal with these goobers. I might still be in trouble. I think that's going to be my best play. Herb, Eel, and I. That should bring her out of trouble now. Also give Clint more XP. Then have Darius move out. High herb Clint. Because Darius should be out of range of everything except for the archer. And the mage crap. Ah, that's not gonna work. Darius is dead. Unless if they go after Clint instead, because Clint is a higher priority target. That is possible. Move. I am one in square off. And didn't matter what order I moved people in, that was as far as Diego could move, so. Okay, Eamon. There is jack squat you can do this turn. You could be a target. And not even a good one. You don't have any items that are going to help. I'm just going to start moving in position. All right. I need everyone to survive this turn. You're going after Eel and I. This is not a good sign. Although, on the plus side, Eel and I has much better height now. You're going after Darius. 
think Darius is going to survive. Oh, you actually can hit from there. Huh, didn't think so. That's fine. I think I'm okay. So I believe that's everyone that can attack this turn. You're all going to, you know, go after the guardsman. Dolan's doing his job. Dolan is probably the best guardsman, if only because he's positioned higher in turn order for some reason than Krog. Like, positioning-wise, obviously, everybody goes, then everybody else goes, so. And you die. This part about killing them in one shot is that the healer doesn't have anything to do. Healer's going to heal. Oh, crap. You actually can reach. Damn it. Okay, that might be a problem. I was expecting to be able to kill that last one this turn. And now I can't. Before I do anything, let's make a save on Cartridge Ram. We're moving there. Circle up. I don't know if I can get them in range of Huxley. That's the problem. I mean, obviously I can get aim in there. Darius is dead pretty much no matter where I put him is the problem. My best hope is over here, actually. But wait, hold on a moment. So this is mirror imaged. They can't reach. Darius should be okay there. No, he's not. That guy can reach still. And paralyzing a mage is not easy. don't want to have to deal with chronomancy. Okay. How far can I reach with my healing plus? So I'm going to have to get to there. I can reach with her. I can't reach with Darius. Darius is dead on board as it stands right now. Fairy Star doesn't have enough range to hit the ground, so that doesn't help. Also, Iron Mage, you're an idiot. Oh, you survived. That's unfortunate. I might actually have to throw down a phase shift to kill it. And it will be totally worth doing. Because I can't reach anyone else. So I'm a phase shifting. Phase shift. That should kill him, I think. I think it does like 23 mages. Good enough. That actually means that this corner is now safe. any more items that Am I seriously going to have to rely upon paralyzing a mage in one hit? That is not great. Put it mildly. Because I can't reach with a healing plus.
All because I picked up a chest and threw a healing herb into my wagon instead of into my inventory. That's the actual problem. So otherwise, I could have had Darius heal himself again, which is the intent. Okay. Am I going to need to abuse Chronomancy? I'm trying to think of another answer to this. I mean, I even have enough MP for phase shift again anyway. Even if I use the heal uh, mage oil that I have on me, I don't have Those are not good odds. That's my best bet. Please be said fell down. you hurt me. Please be spellbound. I just need this one mage to not go. I'm pretty sure that's death. I'm pretty sure they're going to prioritize killing someone over hitting Clint. I am wrong. Okay, that's a really dumb move by the AI, but sure. We'll go with that. Well, that just saved my bacon. I don't even care if you're killing them. Bloodbats are just... An, uh, admittedly, that's a lot of healing. Okay. Was not expecting it to this turn. You were dead. is going down there because he's the highest level of the party anyway. Alright, you probably should have actually just stayed over there, but I didn't realize that I'd be surviving this turn. Darius, I don't care where you go other than you are going to hide. Here is fine. You know why? Because pucks can definitely reach you. Crap out of Darius. Hail and I, your goal is to stop them. Oh, I actually need to go where Clint is. Uh, Clint, you can actually just start moving out. Hail and I. Precious, precious, I did it again. Precious, precious, eel and I. Spellbind. 
Wait. Yeah. Spell bind that. Really? You had one job, Eel and I. Actually, you've done great this battle, so I'm not actually complaining. Unfortunately, those two are probably not doing anything else for the rest of this battle, to be my guess. Yep, you're hitting Eel and I again. My goal is to move Eel and I up where she can get healing plus next turn. Paralyzed! Blood bats paralyzed? I thought they only poisoned. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but sure. Plus, I'd, I'm actually better at carrying paralysis right now than anything else. Healing a healer. Of course. Okay. By the way, how many more uses of your stupid magic do you have? Uh, you're out of magic. Eel and I is home free at this point. Because the Empire Mage has to go back and stand on one of these two spots to do anything. Alright, I need you to go back here, okay. Club para Paralyze with your last MP. Uh, paralyze that one, please. Thank you. have outlived your usefulness. Goodbye. It's time to start taking out healers. Alright, which item are you? You're the one I didn't need. Wide, your Dolan. That'll remove paralysis. Dolan's the next one I'm concerned about because of the stupid flyer. However, I think we're gonna kill them. Nope. Well, crap. Well, that helped at least. at once. Oh well. Um, honestly, Elena is actually safe now. Dolan isn't. I'm thinking healing Dolan actually makes more sense. Oh, I'm gonna gain a lot more XP from healing. You no, know, it's about the same. Yeah, throw down a plus on Dolan. So far, I have enough for one more phase shift and one more Roman fire. Well, it's fire time, baby. It's not worth phase shifting. I'd rather phase shift against the boss instead, if I'm going to. 
You're nearly dead, but no, no, you're actually dead. Well, should have done it the other way around. Oh, well. Marius, you're basically useless at this point. Flint, just move on board. Diego, move on board. I'm going to have Diego take care of the paralyzed bat next turn, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot that you're still alive. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I've taken care of most everybody else. Yeah, that's fine. That bat's still paralyzed, I don't really care. Oh, I pissed off the boss. Cool. Right. Let's save internal. Got that item. Let's go ahead and not quite be able to reach this one. I'll try. Die, please. Oh. Damn. I guess Sarah's gonna kill him. We do need to be here instead. And let's finally heal up Eel and I a bit, so I don't feel bad about leaving her behind like that. Get hooks up to 18. No har, you're going to move up. Darius, you're, again, kind of useless in this particular scenario. He'll level up fast enough, but I promote him. Because he's our other hawk. Eel and I... What can you do with 4 MP? You can actually pull off a piercing ray. That might not be the worst idea, having somebody down there against the boss with piercing ray. Magic oil. Oh, it's so slow. <coughs> this is not that slow on the PlayStation version for reference. Oh. What's up? One fewer healer. Problem solved. You can't reach this turn, right? No. Unfortunately, that does mean that they're going to end up having one of those behind Dumas. Is it Dumas or Dumas? I'm not actually sure. And that's an armor type. Well, before I do anything... Let's actually get the item we need before I start screaming at myself in order to do this battle again. We found the key. Mana key. All right. Congratulations. You have basically completed all of your available tasks. So 47, 62. That's the problem with fighting Dumas.
Hey, boo. Sadly, she's not in view. So I could just do this. That's not the worst idea. Just because then I get more, I get two shots of Roman fire versus one shot of phase shift. Yeah, that actually is worth doing. So you can see how much damage he took from that. Healing circle, heal the two injured peoples. Another real question. Diego, can you actually kill that healer? I don't know if you can. The answer is no. Know who can though? Flap! Good job, Hux. Because I would much rather be in this position. Juma won't die from that, but that's okay. Holy crap, that was 116 damage. That was a bad idea. 116 damage. Um. That may have been a bad idea. I mean, I'm. There's a chance that he's gonna run away instead of killing Grog, but I'm pretty sure Grog's dead this turn. Well, at least I could reload from the last turn. Oh no, Grog's dead from that, excuse me. Reload time. Yeah, that's what I was expecting Duma to do. Self-healing heals a crap ton. Alright. That was... Cartridge Rim? I don't remember now, but I'll be able to tell really fast. Oh, my housemate went to bed. That early. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was Cartridge Rim. So these parts are still things that I want to do, but I'm going to take turns slightly differently otherwise. damage. Hmm. That might end up being a problem. be enough damage to make Duma back off. Thank you. I hope. He's not actually below 100. He might not. Not forget.
Alright, let's see if this works. Grenadier is going after Grog. The Grog's now facing the Grenadier. That's still enough for Duma to kick out Grog, though. But Duma runs away. Good. We're fine. Pretty sure we're fine. a massive thing on you, and I might be able to reach with you on I didn't think. Well, that was kind of a waste. Oh well. I was expecting a turn where I can do that. Okay. How close do you need to be? Throw your last Roman fire. You could be one further back, so you could be where Dolan's standing. So I think I want you where Dolan's standing. Okay, where Dolan's standing. Throw down another Roman fire. That even makes sense to do. I'm just gonna heal it again. Because I'm not attacking this turn, I'm trying to move up. So, actually, no, that probably doesn't make sense to do. If I got lucky, I'd be able to kill the Grenadier. That would be worth it, but otherwise, not so much. Can I hit the Grenadier from here? Slightly more to be able to hit the Grenadier. Can I hit? Nope. Kang. Okay. What do I have for items for team members? Do I have any more mage stones on anyone? You have mage oil, you have a magic stone, and that's it. It might make sense for me to have Zohar move up one, and stone himself. Wow, this is a long video. Sorry about that. This could be the only video I record tonight, but that's okay. You're 19 now? Wow. Okay. Um, move up as far as you can. Oh, now I have Ultra Healing. That would have been nice earlier, like at the start of this battle. Um, a weapon? I need to get up slightly closer to do any of those. You know what? Sarah, you're gonna stand there. Because by not damaging Duma, he should come up and attack. So I'm basically trying to figure out... I think I'd rather do extra counterattack damage. Let's bless weapon. You know, Boo, if you went up one more level, you could be visible from the camera. Just saying. Grog's the only one left. Grog, you're actually just going to be done in that position. The rest of these people are just moving up. Not that I expect... Uh, I mean, Ash might actually be helpful in battle, but I don't expect anybody else to be. Really wish I could have taken out that Grenadier first. 
Luckily, Grenadier is just going after Grog and nobody else, and that's fine. Duma is going to go up and smack. Hit for 62. I hit back 51. I think I've got him this turn. Especially now that I can just phase shift. Phase shift. And also Elon is back down there. You're dead. You're mortally wounded. Okay. Dolan could probably. Uh, Dolan can definitely make the final kill. Eel and I can make the final kill. How close is Dolan to leveling? 70. Eel and I is 10. I think I'm getting Eel and I to 19 instead. Um. Diego might be able to do it, actually. You know what? Diego, I don't think you can actually take him out, but you should at least take a pot shot. it's free XP. Might as well. Okay. Just to make sure I actually can. Yeah, I can take him out with... You know what, Ian and I? You are definitely MVP of this battle. Let's do it. Pierce his heart with your ray. I beat cheated. And I level up again. Elenai is now 19. Also, she's 19 in H. Ooh, I got Dark Robe. You win! It's a lot going on. Okay, so here's the trick. I'm going to actually have to record the next video, or at least the start of the next video as well, because we're at the end of the chapter. So I'm going to pause it right when we get to the end of this chapter, or stop it, and then start up the recording again for the next chapter, okay? We've got almost the entire party back. We've got 11. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Ah, sure alive! <laughs> My words exactly, Clint. Dare Claymore and the other prisoners are free now. I know that lower class voice, Darius. Oh, 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 who else could it be? Bob's the old coot. You two friends. We're simply from the same village. He's always slapping together some piece of junk and making trouble. You see what I mean by he actually more fits a Hawk Knight than a Archer? <laughs> Idiot. It's thanks to that that I'm now an unparalleled machinist. What have you done with your life? Still using that old moth eaten magic of yours? <laughs> I'll never forget the time that you accidentally turned a farmer's pig into a chicken and got torn a new one for that. Well, you burned down the schoolhouse. Come on, you two. Cut it out already. At any rate, it looks like our plan was a great success. But this is only the first step. The real war with the Empire starts from this point on. And that's it for the chapter. I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!